Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be putting together Toddler Bell. So we, uh, we did the Design Space tutorial and I did the Design Space tutorial two times. One more recently for this actual project and then one maybe like a year ago. Uh, but I've, I don't believe that we've put her together before. So this should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna be mixing up some HTV and some rolled flowers. So we'll see where it gets us and if I need to break it up into another session uh, to make it easier to follow. Anyway, before we get started on that though, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I really appreciate all the support. And all right, let's get started. So the first thing that I always do on a off the mat project is the black background. So in this case, I am doing this for a particular project. So I really, I, you know, I wanted to use 12 by 24 cardstock for the black background. I don't always do that, but in this case, I really, really wanted to minimize the seams as much as I could. So this is the front, right? Um, this is 36 inches, so it's going to be hard to see. I mean, this is only the two pieces. We have two more pieces to add together. So I'm just going to flip this over. I'm going to show you what I mean. We uh, tape from the back because in the back, you're not going to be able to see. So um, if you tape from the front, there are, I mean, it's just a little bit that's not covered by all the fun colored cardstock, like of her dress and her face. Uh, whatever is not covered though, you're going to be able to see the scotch tape. In fact, oops, hold on, let me make sure. Is this the right, I always get, <laughs> it's so hard to see. You wanna make sure, let's look at this again and make sure that we have the right side. Yep, okay, so now I'm gonna flip it to the back and we're gonna tape this side. Um, it, I feel like whatever tape you use, you're gonna be able to see it. So you have to use it, you have to tape from the back. So this is really long. What I'm trying to do is like up here, I'm gonna tape this side first and I wanna push it together so that the seam up here is as minimal as possible. And then we're gonna do the same down here. So we're pushing it up against each other. And then we're just gonna tape along here. Now this back side is going to eventually be glued to a foam board. So none of this is going to be visible and it will be pretty flat, but for the time being like, wow, this is such a long piece, right? Let's see how long it is. Um, 12, I should have done it the other way. I mean, it's almost 22 inches and it's just, we still have pieces to add. So it's, it's a large, a large piece. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna see if I can figure this out. <laughs> it's dangerous territory here, let's see. We've got the legs. So the legs are gonna be this way, like this. And then we have just one small little piece of her skirt like that. So you can see she's long. This is 36, my board is 36 inches. And you see she spans that whole 36 inches. So. This one, let's do this first and let's just get these two pieces together. And this is so, it's so hard to, to manage right here. These pieces are so long. So I'm just gonna do this. hard because the pieces are so big okay I think we're good all right so you can see her back let's put her this way and start adding the pieces and see what we have going on and it's always so hard for me to piece things down when it's not right side up, right? So like she's on her side for me right now. Uh, what is this? Is this her leg? It's her leg. 
It looks so weird. I didn't think it was like. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Um, now her face, there is, you can see a seam running through. I'm not really sure, let's see. Oh, her face is like this. So the, if you can see the seam running through up here, right? It's gonna go through her mouth. So what you do is you take a duplicate copy of the face, contour and hide everything. So we're gonna hide the eyes, the eyebrows, all that stuff so that you have a solid black. So when you do this, then there is no seam through the mouth. And when you put it down, that seam is now gone. So anything that you can do um, really helps the overall picture it's like a little bit here a little bit there and it all adds to this like gigantic seamless project and that's part of the reason why i do like using the grid of squares which is the svg file that you can purchase through me on my website theuselesscrafter.com or you can get it for free if you sign up for my newsletter and i keep saying this when you sign up for the newsletter it's not a big deal because honestly i have yet to send out my first newsletter <laughs> So um, you could do that. If you still don't want to do that, um, you can create the grid of squares all by yourself because I have many videos showing you how to do it. Uh, what's nice about having it as an SVG file though is every time you go to do an off the map, you can just go to the design space library, search for your grid of squares, and it would take you know a few seconds as opposed to recreating it or you know finding it elsewhere like on a project and copying it over so it is nice to have as an svg file all right so i put glue on this because i want this to be on my black and it'll be a perfect fit okay and i'll just put it down here while it's drying um i am gonna just do this and um, not that it's so heavy or anything I just want to make sure that the it dries flat okay continuing on we have the little hand and also because this project is going to be on display at the expo I didn't weld any pieces like this is I let everything be as annoying as it was, <laughs> you know, the dress being in a million pieces and all that good stuff. I just rolled with it. So this goes somewhere up here like that. So this has more pieces than I normally would like to deal with, but um, it's okay every once in a while, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see these little pieces here. We've got this piece that goes at the end. Maybe it goes like this. Yeah. And then, mm, it's so hard to tell which side is which. I'm gonna make this bigger. I have the design space image on my screen in front of me so that I can try to figure out what I have going on here. <laughs> Let's see, okay, so it's like that. Oh man, am I missing a piece? Oh no, I'm not, this just got, when I go to glue this, I need to hold it like this. Okay, here we go. Yay, all right, so that looks good, right? Okay, um, I'm gonna move this out of the way now that it's had a chance to dry a little bit. And the reason why I have streamers out is we're going to make the foam board nice looking as well, so. Uh, let me move my screen a little bit so I can see where this piece goes. All right, so this goes like this, which means her face needs to be tilted a little bit. Now, if you uh, saw the other bell, um, 
it's your standard bell that you see from the movie. Um, we used HTV for her hair, for everything. And actually, I'll bring it over in a second so that you could see it. Um, so now that I'm looking at this brown hair, it's looking a little boring to me. So I'm a little bit worried <laughs> if, um, you know, I didn't want to do glitter cardstock for her hair because I'm doing the eyes that color. And so I wanted it to stand out a little bit, but now I'm a little bit worried that this is not going to look as good. All right, let me put this in. We're getting there. And put our little lips. So I don't see the bottom of her lip, <laughs> so we'll have to track that down. It's starting to come together. Um, her crown. All right, so let's move this. Now I'm going to put down her dress. I think once we start putting down her dress, it's going to start to come together a little bit better. And some of this is once we place it down for the first time, um, you know, this is when it's a good time to kind of like analyze your colors as well. So right now, um, I'm looking at her crown and she's got a jewel in there. And the jewel is this pink that's the same as the flowers which I believe, here, I'm gonna put it down, but you can tell me, it's the same color as her lips. So everything that was pink was the jewel, her lips, and the pink flowers, which I feel like for sure I would want to um, get some sort of like metallic or foil paper so that the jewel kind of stands out a little bit. Um, but we can, Continue on and see what we have here. Uh, why does this look funny? What is this piece? What is this? Sorry. Oh, because there's the, there's gonna, we're gonna do rolled flowers and it's gonna go up here. Why am I, Struggling. Ah, uh, because it's sideways. <laughs> I'm having a hard time here. Okay. So this big gap right there is going to be a rolled flower and some leaves. Okay, this goes here, this goes here. And I'm gonna roll a flower to see how big it is and to see how easy it is to get that in there. All right, so what we have left is the dress and the shoes. And we'll readjust and align everything afterwards. I feel like um, I'm struggling with how dull her hair looks. 
I think I'm going to have to do something about it because um, I'm going to bring over the other bell and you'll see what I mean. So the reason why we're not taping or gluing anything down right now is because just like that, right? You want to be able to make adjustments and um, some some pieces are easier to, to determine where they go and some we kind of need to, to work around it. So, all right, so we have all our pieces. This definitely needs to be readjusted, right? Let me see what other pieces I have down here. Now for the crown, I also did it in HTV so that this can sit on top like this. Just to give it more of a, a look there. And then let's see what other pieces I have left. So give me a second. I'm gonna put in the eyes. So let's kind of adjust a little bit here. So you see all these like just minor adjustments, but it would be really difficult if we already glued it down. Um, because then some parts will be, it'll just be really unequal. So you wanna make sure you give yourself like the opportunity to still make some changes. Okay, so then our rolled flowers are gonna go here. Um, I'm missing a lip somewhere. Somewhere is a bottom lip. What does our bottom look like? Um, I just don't know how I'm missing that piece, but here's one rolled flower. I wanted to put that down and see if it's the right size. So it looks pretty good. And then we have the green. So I did use almost think if I just did regular green, it would it would look better. This HTV one, it's too light. So I'm definitely gonna change out my greens to be that color. And then let's put in the rest of the eyes so that it looks more like it should, I think. I think that'll help us complete this look a little bit. Um, Why does this piece look so weird? Hold on, let me zoom in to see what I'm, what am I missing on her eyes? Okay, it goes. Okay, so she's pretty complete. We've got the rolled flowers to do here. Um, we're missing the lip. And I think that's it. So let's look at this and kind of evaluate. Um, I think we need something prettier for her hair. She's gonna look pretty dull. Let me go get the other one so that you can see what I'm talking about. Now 
Now this Belle is all HTV. Her skin, the hair, I mean look at the vibrant color. Um, I feel like I need to leave it for to show the difference though. Um, so this is, you know, also HTV, so it's that jewel. We've got the glitter cardstock. Um, it's just a more vibrant yellow, but you know, this is toddler bell, so she needs to be like a lighter color, I think. Um, the lips, like all of that. So you can see how vibrant she looks, right? Um, but this is all HTV, including this skin, which I'm super excited about. Um, We gotta keep it for the difference, right? So that we can show. All right, so let's do this. Let's roll some flowers. Um, the way I roll flowers, I always have one of those um, tools. Oh, right here. Uh, from Amazon. It's for a, um, what, it, what is it? Uh, for quilling. So, you know, when you roll up the papers. So, um, with these flowers, let me pull out one. With these spiral designs, first of all, I'm gonna turn on my glue gun because we're gonna to need to glue the middle. Okay, so it, you guys probably recognize this. I see this a lot for um, flower templates, for rolled flower templates. You're gonna roll from the outside and you're gonna roll it in um, all the way to the circle. This circle is this dot right here. It's where you're gonna glue everything to. So let's start on the outside. This little slit thing is just easy has a slot right there for the paper to go through. So, and don't worry about messing up right here. The, you gotta just go. <laughs> so I have my little tool in and I'm gonna just start rolling. Um, I've used tweezers before or I've just used my fingers. I do prefer this tool and the tool is cheap. I wanna say the whole quilling set is maybe $6. So you can definitely go on my Amazon shop to see, to look for that. It's um, amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. You can shop by category, by projects. So that's always fun to see what other projects you might wanna do. Um, and I have all those tools, whatever I recommend is Things that I've used. All right, so I'm getting to the middle. I'm gonna pull out this tool, press this circle up like this, and so you see I'm holding it between my forefinger and my thumb, and I'm just gonna let it unravel a little bit. So for this one over here, I do want a super tight one, so I'm gonna keep it super tight like this and pop it up, and ah! I turned on my glue gun but it's not plugged in. <laughs> so I'm gonna plug it in right now, so give me a second. Okay, now it's on. And I want this one tight. I knew this one was gonna be small because look at the space for this one. This one will be the biggest, these two will be the biggest, and then this one will be the next one. So not that I'm gonna glue the flower down, although I guess I could. I'm just going to size it right now and glue it. Um, you know what, I'm gonna try to see if the Barely Art glue will work. I always use my glue gun because it dries faster, but in this case, since we gotta wait for it to heat up, I'm gonna give this a try. So you just wanna hold it together to make sure. I'm gonna close this up. Um, what else can we talk about while we're doing this? So yeah, I think, I mean, she's adorable, right? But it's hard once you have the other bell in mind. You know what, and I almost feel like I'm not gonna use this, but I'm gonna use different cardstock. I think on this girl, I'm gonna go with no HTV. So everything is gonna, I'm gonna have to recut the hair to do some other brown. <laughs> recut the crown so that it's a pretty like a gold and then we'll figure out the rest she's cute right i mean she needs to be toddler cute um all right let's see if this works okay so it's not moving i think it's dry so it's gonna go there all right so right now let's just adjust wherever we need to feel like the hair is a little bit off. This 
feels like there's a lot of room right there. It feels like this right here. Okay, this we know is like right. Because once we get this down, then we can start gluing. I just want to at least have the initial, see this is off. Something's going on right here. Okay, here we go. This piece is off. There, I think that looks better. You feel like this arm is off. There's something right here that's just not, this doesn't feel like it's totally in place. But you can kind of see, all right, I think, I mean, some of these things we know where they need to go, like the hand. So I'm gonna start gluing that down and we're gonna glue a little bit and then we'll glue until we can't and then we'll pause it or we'll end it. I'll recut some of these pieces and we'll come back. So I'm gonna glue down this hand because this hand obviously goes where it goes. So I'm gonna lift this up. And then once this is down, we'll do the next rolled flower. Because now I think my glue gun is warmed up. And then I'm just going to take this and get rid of some of my glue. I think I overdid it with the glue. And I'm just gonna hold it down while it dries. It does dry quickly, so I wanna make sure it's flat, everything is touching, it's down. All right, so let's do this hand. You know what I'm doing right now that I would not recommend? Holding this over your project <laughs> because if you accidentally drop it, which I have, um, and it's fallen glue side down before, you have to recut your piece, so. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't learned my lesson. Okay, so while that is going, let's do another flower. And this one's like kind of too loose. So to tighten it up, because I never glued it down, you can grab a hold of the middle, and this might be easier with tweezers, but, and start twisting it up so it gets tightened a little bit like a screw. There, that's better. And would that fit there? Okay, so pop this open. I'm gonna put the glue down.
all look kind of the same size at this point. So maybe like that. Then I've got two more to roll. And then we'll end here because that hair is a big piece and the crown and the jewel and the lip. <laughs> and I'll put all that together and then I'm going to show you the foam board. So part three, part one is the design space tutorial. Part two is this. So you can kind of see where we're going with all the pieces. Part three is going to be um, doing the foam board and just like the final touches of like gluing everything up. But so far you've seen, I mean, I think I've walked you through how to glue pieces on. So I'm gonna pull this out, hold the two, right? Kind of hold it and let it unravel a little bit. On my finger and it was a little hot <laughs> just a little I won't need Neosporin but in case you ever need it a hot glue gun burn um I was working on pom-poms and I literally stuck my finger into this like blob of hot glue gun um, I thought my finger wasn't gonna be working for quite some time Neosporin overnight it was all good so there's that one and we've got one more to go up here and I think this one's kind of well let me see how small I can make this one I feel like this one needs to be tighter and these you know this one's not my favorite flower but the flower it's so small on here that I didn't want to go with a bigger flower but I love the ones where the petals can actually really curl out so if you seen or if you want to do that um, please look up my Frida project she has a head full of flowers and so there were I think four different flowers that I used on her and it was just really really beautiful so I let it twist open too much so I'm going to twist it back up all right I think that's good put some glue I'm like scared to touch it now. <laughs> okay. So, you know, just make sure that your glue strings are all gone. Um, pretty cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna see you on the next video. Thanks for staying. <laughs> all right, see ya.